Hi, I'm Dr. Kelsey Boss, pediatric physical therapist, mom of one, almost two boys, and the owner and founder of Compleo. I want to share with you some of our favorite recommendations. I know you can get inundated with advice on what to put on your registry and how to stock your playroom. There are some really good toys to invest in, and my philosophy is to choose toys that are high quality, that are really going to provide a developmental purpose, and also grow with your child. So when I'm out shopping for toys and thinking about toys I'm going to get, I think through, am I going to be able to use this for more than a month? Am I going to be able to use this in multiple ways before we actually purchased. So a lot of the battery operated toys are really specific and the kids get tired of them really quickly. So for the most part in the first year of life, I stay away from battery operated toys. So let's talk through how to stock your nursery and playroom. A great nursing pillow can be good for multiple reasons. So again, we're looking for multiple uses and things that can grow with baby. So if you decide to breastfeed, this is good to have on hand and can be really helpful in those early stages of nursing while you're trying to figure that out. Then as you grow, this can be a great supportive tool for tummy time and supported sitting. Things that you can see in our developmental courses. So there's going to be uses for mom and baby. Now we're going to talk through toys for baby. So I love texture toys. It's really important to incorporate all the different senses. So things that have multiple textures on it. I love this one because it incorporates the high contrast. So early on, it's going to be really great for visual tracking. It makes sound and noise so you can work on tracking sound. But then these knobs make it a great grabbing toy as baby gets older. So again, we're using it for tracking early on and then it can become a ball that you can roll, it can grab. So we're looking at multiple uses for multiple months. Be careful how you spend your money. High contrast cards early on are really important for visual development. So there's a couple different options out there. I love the books. These are really um, sturdy. You can take them on the road, take them into restaurants. I always had something like this thrown into my purse or my diaper bag when my um, son was really little. So I really like the book option. There's also card options and you can even make these yourself at home if you want to draw designs on cards that are high contrast. Next, I love having something to go with your cards that props it up. So while we're talking about multiple uses, anything that you can prop up like this when they're little, you can lay it flat. As they get older, you're going to put it up this way and it's going to really help in that tummy time to push up and encourage them with that visual engagement and strengthening skills. Mirrors are a must have. Babies love mirrors and recognizing your reflection is a developmental milestone in and of itself. So any little mirrors like this are great. Um, there's lots of mirror options. I do like the options that you can prop up on its own so baby can hang out in tummy time looking in the mirror. This is a good one for tracking. I've even used really shiny paper plates before if I was in a bind to get a baby's reflection when that was um, a great calming skill for them. Suction cup toys to go on the mirrors are another favorite of mine. So here's two of our favorites on the market. Again, this can have multiple uses for multiple months. So when they're little, it's something fun to look at. Then as they're older, they serve a great purpose to work on that weight shifting, reaching skills, uh, progression of tummy time and rolling skills. You can pop them up on the high chair at family dinner so you can keep them entertained a little bit longer so you and dad can maybe get through your whole meal. Um, so spinning and suction cup toys are a favorite. I know I just said I don't love battery toys, but babies do love music. So having one or two... Oh, I just set it off. Here we go. Having one or two toys that is going to play a little bit of music can be great. A lot of parents will say this is a lifesaver when my baby's upset. So anything similar like this, again, make sure it has a handle. So when they're little, you may just play it for them. And then once they're a couple months old, they can grasp it themselves. As we start to move into grasping and a little bit older babies, 
Toys with big holes and loops are my favorite. So these are three different examples that you can use. They're really great for working on the hands to midline skills. They're really easy to grasp and put your fingers in. And then it can be great for helping them roll as you facilitate their holding on and you're rocking them back and forth. So grasping toys are a favorite. They're gonna start using these probably around four or five months. Toys that make different sounds. So I love the indestructible books. These cannot be torn. They are waterproof, like rip proof, everything proof. If you have not seen a book similar to this, again, it is a lifesaver. It is one that we just, we kept copies in the car, in the diaper bag, in the playroom. We always had one hanging around to entertain our son. And then crinkle paper uh, makes a fun little sound. Crinkle paper is another great example of those textured toys working in the multi-sensory component. All of this is laying on a baby mat. If you're only gonna register for one toy, it should be a high quality baby mat. Floor is best for your baby. We go into the reasons for this in our courses, but spending more time on the floor is gonna help them develop those milestones and those skills, and we want a comfortable and safe place to do it. I like a little bit simpler mats that are a little less distracting, but the things I do look for are um, a cushiony, soft surface, something with different textures, and then an overhead gym so that they can lay on their back and in those early newborn stages have something to look at. And as they grow, work on their reaching, kicking, batting skills as they work towards rolling. This is a great example of one that will grow with them. It's a little bit bigger in size, but it has all sorts of, it has a teething ring, it has textures. So look for a mat that is more than just a simple black and white mat, because if you do that, they're gonna be over it by three months old. This is an example of one that's gonna work through their first year of life for playtime. As they get to be a little bit older, these are really fun sensory tiles, and as you put weight on them, they get to see it move around, so they feel like a different texture, and then they get a cause and effect as we start to encourage weight bearing, so you can line them up and encourage them to crawl over them. You can do tummy time and push up on them, and the kids will get really excited to watch that move around. So this is another great option. And then as they get a little bit older, these are some of my favorite toys to include. Um, I like anything where they can pop in and out as they start to explore use of their hands. This is a great one that combines the suction cup, so it can be a spinning toy early on, but later something that they can hold and manipulate and pop. Wobble toys are great to keep their entertainment in tummy time. You literally can't knock it over this entertained our son for way too long, and he was just shifting side to side, working on that weight shifting, working on that arm strengthening, trying to knock this over. The last thing I'm gonna show you are toys that roll. So as they get a little more advanced in their skills, this can be a rattle when they're younger, but as they get older, they're gonna accidentally knock it away, and then they're gonna have to try to crawl or scoot forward to catch it. So again, I don't love tons of toys, but high quality toys are really gonna set your child up for success. And as you're setting up your nursery, I wanna encourage you to choose these types of high quality toys over lots of devices. Don't forget, we have everything linked below and all our recommendations in our Amazon shop. If you have any questions about developmentally preparation, how to use these toys, please follow us and check out our developmental courses. If you like our content, don't forget to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us on our Instagram and TikToks, Complejo Kids and Complejo Waco.